Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is the Dad Delivers vlog where I try new things to make your family happy. And the new thing was tried three years ago with this. This is the IKEA Apolaro wooden garden table and it was fantastic. I have a video, there's a link in the description uh, showing you an unboxing on how to assemble the Apolaro wooden table. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> We've got quite a, a large patio. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a moment. It's just behind me. I'm going to show you what it looks like three years on. But in that video, I showed how to put the table together. Also with the chairs, it, it looks really good. It was a really nice brown wood look but I didn't know how long it would last and you know what it would look like three years down the line. That's what this video is about. So I'm gonna step aside and <laughs> reveal what it looks like. Should we just, let's just do it now. This is what it looks like now. And um, it's, it, it could look better. I thought it might look characterful, <laughs> but it does just look out and out, um, claps out. A few things, I'm going to walk you through the few things that, that are probably an issue that you might be able to avoid, actually. I'm going to hold the camera alongside the, the flat edge of the table and you can see how the slats sink. In the video, putting it together, you can see that there are kind of these pins in the middle and that is the only support for the table in the middle. And we've got kids and they might have sat on it from time to time, maybe even stood on it for the odd frisbee or two. That has taken its toll. But outside of those, it does kind of warp unevenly. The biggest thing to happen to the table is obviously this. And this happened this week, and it's kind of why I wanted to make the video. <laughs> I'm gonna try and put this back together again, uh, but it's gonna be very difficult because you can see that there's, there's a break here and a break on the other side and there's nothing for it to, to bite into. So what I'm going to do is flip the table over and I'm going to try and press out the table, flatten it, <laughs> or at least try and make the surface a bit more level and then see if we can get this plank, this loose plank back onto the table. I think I'm just going to walk on it. I don't know if this is going to snap or break the table but hopefully it will just push some of it back into place. Oh it's clicking. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Okay well I hope that's not made things worse and uh, kind of flattened it just a little bit. Next I'm going to try and fix the missing plank, the plank that has no edges to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is find this plank and I guess cut it to length and then screw it underneath just to hold the missing plank in place. I'm hoping that didn't go through. Oh, hoping that didn't go through. No, it didn't. Great. Okay, so I've pre-drilled some holes here and I'm hoping that this is the right way round. I'm gonna slide it underneath, sort of get it into the right position, but there's nothing for it to, to bite to. I can't really clamp it. I haven't got any clamps that would fit. So if I put it in how I think it should go, it doesn't fit at all. Hang on. Maybe it'd be easier to do this the right way up, you know? Try and get the board in the gap. But at least I have something for it to sit on now. It's like a 3D jigsaw puzzle. It won't go at all. I wonder if stepping it out actually made it not fit anymore. <laughs> I should have stepped it out with the board in the right place. Let's try that. Oh, I got it. That's the exact fit. Yes, got it. Ah, oh, fantastic, look at this. <laughs> so all the others are higgledy-piggledy, but the one I wanted is now dead straight. And what I can do now is, uh, maybe it'll be easier to, I don't want to lift the table up. <laughs> it goes but I'm gonna climb underneath and put the screws into those five pilot holes and hold the thing in place. 
it's never easy. The screws are pushing the board out of place. So now each time I'm screwing the screw in, it's just pushing the board up instead of gripping it in place. So now I've got to put the drill bit back in and go back and drill those pilot holes, the five pilot holes to go through the plank underneath and into the actual top surface plank of wood as well. And then go back and <laughs> screw the five screws back into place. Oh, yes. <laughs> Finally, let me show you closer. So now, oh look, it's just shown up how bad all the other <laughs> planks of wood are, but this here is absolutely the most solid plank on the table. I'm calling this a Dad Delivers success. Ah, I wish that I could have got some varnish um, to stain it, but I sort of like the color that it's gone. I like that it looks weathered. You might not like it. You might think it looks clapped out, but I think it, it's got character, <laughs> probably a bit too much character. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this little trip to our garden table. And right here is what YouTube thinks you'd like to watch next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click in his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.